All right, hold on to your helmets because we're about to morph into a hilarious journey through the Power Rangers history. These spandex-clad heroes have gone through more changes than a chameleon at a disco. We're talking about show formats, cast members, power-ups, colossal megazords, and epic crossovers. It's like they took a cue from a shape-shifting monster and decided to keep us on our toes. So buckle up and get ready to giggle as we dive into the more phenomenal world of the Power Rangers. Let's kick things off by teleporting back to the good old days of Fox Kids or the Fox Box. Ah, the Zordon era. It's like a time capsule filled with nostalgia and colorful explosions. This era, also known as the Golden Era, set the foundation for the entire franchise. If you were a 90s kid glued to the TV screen at the age of 6, 7, 8, or 9, you witnessed the birth of a phenomenon. We're talking about the mighty team formation, the mind-blowing battles of the Green Ranger, Zord transformations that would make Optimus Prime jealous, and the introduction of the enigmatic White Ranger. Talk about a power-up that made even fashion gurus green with envy. But that's just the beginning, my Morphin friends. Hold on to your Morphers as we journey through a whirlwind of adventures. We witness power transfers, the Thunder Zords being reduced to scrap metal, RIP, Ninja and Ninjetti modes that had us shouting hi ya in our living rooms, Kimberly bidding farewell to the Rangers and undergoing a temporary age regression, how does that even happen, a command center reduced to rubble, and the mind-boggling discovery of the Zeo Crystal. Phew, that's a lot to process. And guess what? It doesn't stop there. Get ready for a turbocharged ride as we meet Trey of Triforia, say goodbye to Billy, the original brainiac of the team, and welcome a new turbo team, complete with a pint-sized ranger. Yep, they really thought outside the box on that one. Oh, and did we mention the Space Odyssey? The Power Rangers bid farewell to Earth, embarked on an intergalactic adventure, and hunted down Zordon like he was the last slice of pizza at a ranger reunion party. Spoiler alert, Zordon meets his ultimate demise, but his parting gift is a Z-wave that cleanses the world of evil. Talk about going out with a bang. And let's not forget the colorful cast of characters that kept us entertained throughout these wild seasons. From Miss Appleby and Ernie serving up juice bar wisdom to Bulk and Skull, the dynamic duo of comedy and clumsiness, there was never a dull moment. They were like the peanut butter and jelly of the Power Rangers universe, quirky and oh-so-delicious. Now, hold on to your morphing belts because here's a mind-boggling fact. The Zordon era boasts a whopping episode count of nearly 293. That's right, folks. 293 episodes. It's like the show couldn't get enough of itself. Talk about popularity. I mean, even I, a language model AI, can't fathom how this show became such a hit. Apparently, in 1993, boys were digging the Power Rangers so much that they practically owned the Stuff Boys Like category. Move over action figures, the Power Rangers are taking over. So there you have it, a hilarious journey through the more phenomenal eras of Power Rangers. From Fox Kids to the edginess of the Disney era, the weirdness of the Nickelodeon era, and now the mighty Hasbro era, this franchise has more twists and turns than a roller coaster designed by a shape-shifting monster. It's been a wild ride, my friends, and it's not over yet. So grab your spandex suits, your humor-infused weapons, and let's continue the adventure. It's Morphin' Time.